Hey you guys, it's Olga here. I know this setting is not familiar to you, but today we will not be doing any cooking. Today we'll actually be doing quite a bit of eating and I'm super, super excited. As you can guess by the title of this video, today I will be doing a review for Vegan Cuts snack box. If you guys are not familiar with Vegan Cuts, basically it's a subscription box company. They have two types of boxes, one for vegan snacks, one for vegan beauty products. And you can sign up and every month you will get a box delivered to your house with goodies for you to try. Um, I believe each box costs you about $19.95 per month. I've actually been following this company on their social media for a very long time and I've been wanting to get one of their snack boxes forever. Let's get snacking. So this is the box that I got. To be honest, it is quite small just because I know that each box is supposed to contain 7 to 10 products for you to try. Nevertheless, I do think it has quite a bit of stuff for us to look at and I'm really excited. Let's open it. I think the concept of a subscription box is amazing because I'm personally a sucker when it comes to getting packages in the mail. It's like Christmas. Specifically the vegan snacks. I think it's quite hard searching for a healthy vegan snack at a store. All right. Ooh. There is a card actually, and I'm guessing by all the pictures, this is the Halloween edition for the snack box. Uh, it says that it's featuring face from vegan black metal chef. I believe he also has a YouTube channel. So this box is all about no tricks, all treats, and this tasty snacks are sure to please the most voracious appetites. Well, let's see about that. So this is what the box looks like. I'm really excited to give them a try. Hopefully I can try most of them. So let's do this. So the first product that I see is the Rosemary Truffle Gourmet Popcorn. And it says it is gluten-free, non-GMO, and has only 47 calories per cup. What else? No trans fat, air popped, vegan friendly. Let's look at the ingredients now. The ingredients do look quite good to me. There's not that many of them. The only ones I'm a little iffy about are the safflower and sunflower oil just because those oils tend to be quite processed. And the last ingredient is aroma. I'm not sure what it is. I'm assuming they added something to the popcorn to make it smell better. And to be honest, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of popcorn, but it doesn't really contain any of the ingredients that scare me too much. So I think I can safely give it a try. All right. Oh, I taste the truffle more than I smell it. It's not very... Mommy. Mommy, dip it off. Mom. Mama. Mom. Mama. Mama. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Okay, mommy approved. What else do I have here? Okay, mom, <laughs> I'm doing the review, not you. <laughs> not you. <laughs> you can definitely taste the truffles and the uh, rosemary. I would not say this is my favorite combination. I don't know if they probably have different flavors. So if I was to get this product again, which I don't know if I will. I would probably try something different, but it's quite interesting. It says it's, it is gourmet, right? What can be more gourmet than a truffle? I'd say I'm pretty happy with the first product. I have my water here to cleanse my palate between the products because you know I am such a professional product tester. Let's see what else we have. So this is all natural flamous, or maybe famous, but it says flamous, organic sprouted multigrain chips. And they're, I guess this is the brand Zatar. Never heard of it, but it looks pretty cool. It says it is certified gluten-free. It is USDA organic. It has no gluten, no wheat, no dairy, no lactose, no trans fat, no cholesterol, no MSG, no GMO. Um, awesome. Okay, let's check the ingredients. Again, it does have the same oil that the popcorn had. It has the safflower and the sunflower oil, which I'm not too crazy about. Then it has the multigrain mix, brown rice, brown flax, and buckwheat. Those things I do like quite a lot. It has uh, chickpeas and beans, a bunch of different seasoning. To be honest, I think I'm more excited about the chips than I was about the popcorn, just because I do like chips and uh, crackers. Yeah, let's try it. It's 
is what the chips look like. Mmm, I do like this. It's very crunchy. It has um, onion, tomato, spinach, green bell pepper, and lemongrass in it. So this is what the mixture of those ingredients. This is what you taste. Again, it's not very salty, which is good. I do actually like this quite a lot. Mango would go amazing with some guacamole or some homemade uh, salsa. Again, I really like the taste of it. Um, I would probably consider buying this product in the future. Ooh, I've got another little flyer. The Smarter Soda Xavier, a uh, zero calorie soda. Okay, I'm guessing there will be one of them. And yes, there is a Xavier zero calorie soda. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners, caffeine free. It is vegan, it is gluten free and kosher. Okay, let's see what ingredients it does have. It has carbonated water, every shrub I don't know how to read this citric acid, natural flavors, caramel color. I guess it's cool that they included a drink in the box. I don't think I will be trying this product just because I personally don't drink any sodas and especially diet sodas. I don't think they are too healthy for you. I personally like drinking water. So this is not something I will be trying. All right, more stuff. There's quite a few things actually. So there's one. One, two, three, four. Oh, you guys, it has tea, it has tea, it has tea. This is amazing because some of you might know that I'm crazy when it comes to tea. I love me some tea. And this one actually has one of my favorite teas. It has the Numi tea in it and two, right? All right, yes, it has two different flavors. So it has a chocolate rhubarb, which is a herbal tea, which is amazing because I only drink caffeine free tea and it has a chocolate spice, which is a black tea and it has medium caffeine. I think I will actually make chocolate rhubarb tea because there are some sweet snacks that I, I wanna try and it would be cool to try them with the tea. So I can tell you how it tastes. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm back with the tea, guys. Made myself a huge cup, as always. Oh, I can smell the chocolate now. I like the color, I like the smell, so hopefully the taste will also be great. It's too hot to try right now, so just let's look at another snack. Next we have Love You PB&J, I'm guessing peanut butter and jelly. It does not say what it is, it just says Love you. Well, I love you back. It says it's organic, gluten-free, dairy-free, wheat-free, vegan. I'm assuming it's a cookie or an energy bar. Let's look at the ingredients. It has organic peanuts, organic raisin, pink Himalayan sea salt. Oh, that's it. So yeah, it's kind of like an energy bar. Remember the energy bars I made a video for that only has like three ingredients? This is actually a cool product because all of the ingredients are whole foods. There are no ingredients that I'm not familiar with. I'm really looking forward to trying it. Oh, no, it's crumbling. Oh, 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 oh. It is kind of like a cookie. I think the only problem with it, it breaks so easily. Like I can't even take out the whole cookie right now just because it's breaking in my hands. I think the problem is here, they do need some sort of an ingredient such as dates to make it stick together better. But I like it. If um, they have other flavors, I would definitely consider getting another cookie. Should I try my tea now? It tastes nice. It has this rich flavor. I don't know. I like it. It's quite good. I really like it. Let's see what else they sent us. Oh, this tiny baby. What are you? It says C C H O. Cho. I don't know. Pure notes. They're oh, they're chocolate with layers of fruity notes. It does contain cane sugar, which I don't really eat. So maybe I'll try it later. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. But it, it is really cute that it's so tiny. I wonder how much this costs. I guess it comes in a bigger package. I don't think they sell it like this. But anyways, let's see what else they have. Hey, hello, organic smoothie fruit snacks. Tasty brand made with real juice. This is actually really exciting because I used to be obsessed with gummy bears. This used to be one of my favorite snacks as a kid. Uh, then when I started to eat healthier, obviously I stopped eating them. So if this is a good product, I would be definitely buying it later. Let's check out the ingredients. Organic tapioca syrup, organic cane sugar. Mm, again, not something I'm a fan of. Should I try one? Okay, I really want to try one. 
Mm. Yeah, it tastes pretty good too. But then again, the ingredients are just not worth it. There's juice concentrate, there is natural flavors. What is natural flavors? Like what's in that? Like what do they put? This little guy is a little bit of a disappointment because I wanted it to be great, but it's not. So this is the next uh, little snack that we're gonna try. So this is Veggie Elite Dietary Supplement and you make it by mixing this packet with three ounces of water or almond milk. So I'm probably not gonna try this right now. I might let you know later how I feel about this. All right, and the last thing, oh, I'm so sad. This is all, but here we have, ooh, coconut chips, they're chocolate. This is coconut organics. Uh, again, it's vegan, gluten-free, healthy fat. Ooh, this sounds pretty yummy. So it has toasted organic coconut, yummy. Organic coconut cacao, yep. Organic coconut sugar, yep. Organic vanilla, yep. And sea salt, oh my God, this is actually sounding amazing. It says our organic chocolate coconut chips are highly delicious and nutritious, I bet they are. Sound really good, so let's open it. Oh no. Oh yeah. That smells so good. Let's try it. This is really good. It has the bitter taste because it is cacao, so it definitely has a taste of dark chocolate. So if you like dark chocolate, I think you would love this. I'm liking this a lot. Don't mind me while I lick my finger. Coconut is quite fatty, so I wouldn't necessarily eat too much of this. But if you're having this craving for chocolate and you need to satisfy it right now, I think just having a few chips here and there is pretty good whoop but this is all of the products that came into this box i counted in total there were eight and i think i liked at least half of them i really like the chips i really like the coconut chips i loved the tea and i also like the peanut butter cookie slash energy bar so i would say that was a pretty successful box i didn't like soda too much i didn't even try it i wasn't too happy with the chewy the gummy um candies that i got but you know we're gonna forget about them because the tea rocked and that's all that matters so i would probably consider getting a few of these boxes in the future i really enjoyed uh, going through all the products and giving them a try so if you guys would like to learn more about vegan cuts and their subscription boxes i would put more information for you in the description box down below so check it out and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not familiar with my channel i make healthy recipes for lunches and for snacks so if you like healthy snacks like this check out some of my videos i'll put a few links to my um, playlist for you to check out in the description other than that i hope you guys are having a beautiful day i love you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye